multiple angles. It looks really, really cool. They did it, such a great job on this figure. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? It's Sean Solo 8, and today I'll be going over another Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. Today from The Mandalorian, we have the armor, and I'm absolutely digging this one. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to Figure Scout over on Twitter for making this review possible. He sent me this, and he also sent me Beskar Mando, which I'm pretty stoked. But go ahead and give Figure Scout a follow over on Twitter. What a talented guy. He actually drew that. It's absolutely awesome. But, of course, you couldn't find these figures anywhere. With the hashtag collectors helping collectors, you can pretty much find anything that you want for uh, retail and shipping, which is pretty sweet. You can see I have the child down here, the 3.75-inch collection that came with this Din Djarin, which I have reviewed on the channel. Absolutely epic figure. So... When you're done with this video, feel free to go check that one out. Today we're going to be opening the armor and she's going to play with the Stormtroopers. See what kind of cool poses we can get her in. In package, she looks absolutely rocking. So you guys will be able to hang this on your wall and it's going to look absolutely sweet. It's from the scene where we first see her and Mando brings her to the Beskar. She forges him some new armor. But yeah, in package, she looks sweet just like the Black Series. So these figures are getting so so amazingly detailed for the size and the articulation is just becoming off the hook too she is vc 179 and you can see the wave that she comes in which all of these are so hard to find it's not even funny so i definitely appreciate it figure scout definitely give him a follow over on twitter but without further ado let's open up the armor and let's take a closer look Boom! The armor is out of her package, and guys, this figure is off the hook. Definitely a must purchase. It has ankle rockers. So I'm not sure if I can get her little scowl off or cape or whatever you guys want to call it, but uh, I will try to rip it off here in a minute to see if it's connected, but it's on there really good. The detail on this figure is off the hook. You can see the weathering in her dress looks sweet. She comes with two accessories, which you see I already have in her hand. So, And here she is in another pose, not quite on this turntable, because I'm sure I couldn't get the Stormtrooper to stand up like that. But at multiple angles, it looks really, really cool. They did it, such a great job on this figure. Absolutely love it. Look at the detail on the fur and all the different paint. The epic. It is a little bit tricky for her to hold her little plastic pliers that she has. Of course, this is what she uses to pull the Beskar out of the little molder. And they are pretty soft, so you don't have to worry about these breaking. They do fit in her hands pretty good. Really digging that detail on the belt. Look at those little pockets. But the amount of detail on the little skirt piece right here is really cool. And it is a soft rubber, so it does move up. You can see it's that new articulation on the bottom where it's a ball and a hinge in there. It's pretty cool. Her gloves are sweet, straight out of Hoth. You can see the padding on the top there looks good. Look at the detail on the back of that. Really good job on that. You can see the texturing. I mean, they just really knocked this out of the park. You can tell a lot of love went into this figure. I think the helmet could have used... Uh, Maybe a little bit of weathering, I don't know. But that gold, it still looks sweet. Little horns on the top. It looks great. They did a good, good job. Is there another head underneath there? No, it's just a ball. You can clearly see the ball down there. And then this weapon that she uses is her hammer. And there is no, you know, paint on it. But of course, it goes into the fire all the time. I wish I could have got that special edition Black Series one. That would have been really, really cool. But you can see pinless knees, pinless everything on these figures. But this is the next level of action figures for sure. She looks down super good. She looks up relatively high. She does turn side to side. Her arm's going to pop up. Uh, let me see if this will come off now. Yeah, it looks like mine's glued in there. So, yeah, I'm definitely not going to want to pull this off. 
So that is going to hinder the articulation a little bit, which is a bit of a bummer, but you can raise it up. It pops out to about there and goes back down. So yeah, I can't get that arm up. Let me know in the comments below if anybody has done anything else on that. Because unfortunately, I don't have a duplicate of this figure, so I won't be keeping one in package at all. Her elbow pops up to about right there. There is a swivel in there. Her hand rotates 360, and there is definitely a hinge in that hand, so it tilts up and down. And this hand has a hinge that does the same. So it's up and down also. She is on, looks like a peg and a ball in there. So she does swivel side to side. And she does have a little bit of tilt going on. Bends not too much bend motion. Balls and pegs on her legs. There's an upper swivel cut. Single jointed knee. And again, these beautiful feet with the rockers and the hinge on there. Such a great job, Hasbro. Uh, I can't wait till we get a Mandalorian with the Beskar staff with those, but her boots look really cool. Overall, excellent figure. Thanks for checking out today's video. Check out one of the videos you see up on the screen. Give Figure Scout a follow over on Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is the way.